There we go, something like that. Maybe every now and then I'll mix in a normal stone. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing on this side here. There we go, perfect. This is a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. Diamonds. All right, what's going on, guys? Styromex here, back with another Minecraft video. Today, it's time to get back to building. So it is time to do what I said I was going to do since episode two. Finally gonna make this mine shaft look good. There's actually quite a bit to do, and I've got a design in mind. I think it should look really good here. I gotta grab my shulker box so we can get to building. And then afterwards, we're gonna test out the new mine shaft. We're gonna see how fast we can find like another few veins of diamonds because uh, we're running out here. We're running low and we want to get rich in this world. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this, then please, please remember to subscribe. You can do it right now if you want. It takes two seconds. That's it. That's all I ask. When digging this out, I was literally thinking, okay, I'm gonna dig all the way down to Y level six, cause that's the new best level to mine in 1.17. But then I was making tons of progress here and digging this out, clearing up some good space. And I remembered that these are 1.16 chunks. Like this world was generated in 1.16 and the, and our like our town area our, where our houses and everything, this was generated in 1.16. And it's only a little bit farther from here that the 1.17 diamond rule applies. Those are 1.17 chunks. So the diamond rule doesn't even apply there and it's inefficient. And I'm gonna leave it like this, get a design for something here for a little while. And then once we get to maybe here, we're gonna start bringing it up and come up with a design, like maybe with some ladders that'll bring it up just straight forward up to level 12 or 11 and then keep going from there and it'll be very far until we hit 1.17 chunks so i don't think we'll have to worry about that we we stay at level six for now that's okay we make it up to that point and then we build up and then we continue to tunnel on level 12 i do have to make this higher i think by one more block to get the design right so i'll just make sure we have the perfect amount of space to get this going and then we'll actually get the design this is gonna look cool man if you like the thumbnail then and yeah you know it's gonna look good all right, so everything, all the space that we need, it's all cleared out here. It's perfect. Now I've got plenty of wood here, plenty of these different types of stone that we're gonna need. So that should be all. So here's the way we're gonna have it. We're actually gonna have to remove all of these stairs here and replace it with this sort of design here. We're gonna have stone brick stairs at the middle, two blocks, polished andesite stairs at, at the edge. I forgot some andesite. I'm, I'm gonna grab some more from the house. I know I have plenty more. But like, there's plenty more right here. And you know what? I might just scatter everything up here. It's easy. There we go. Something like that. Maybe every now and then I'll mix in a normal stone just to vary it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think I like that. We want this mine shaft looking nice. We, we don't want like the whole like abandoned feel. We, we, we definitely want it to look pretty good. Like, like it, like someone came back after a long time and, and cleaned it up. Like it's still in use basically. So it'll be a little messy, but for the most part, we're going to keep it sort of clean here. We should probably work on this from the top and go down. We have a great looking entrance from up here because we're not going to finish this. So I don't have enough resources for everything. I don't think, but we'll get as much done as possible. We can work on the entrance too. And whenever we pass through here, at least the top part is completed. But yeah, I guess I'm going to have to remove all of these cobblestone stairs and replace them with stone brick. Alright, so this is what the framing is going to be like. I've got sort of the entrance marked out. Still some work to do, of course. Of course, there's work to do everywhere here. I've got the dimensions of all of the framing here with the wooden dark oak beams, you know? Give it that nice mine shaft look, obviously. We've got the stairs completely done with the stone brick and then the outline, I guess, of polished and the side stairs. And then we've got this cobbled deep slate right here. I'm gonna give it a great look. So Let's start on the gradient at the side of, like, of the walls here. So there's going to be three layers and it's going to create this nice gradient. It goes from like a darker color and fades up to a lighter color and it brings your eyes up. 
or something like that. I think it, I think it's got a nice effect. So we're going to use the new tough block and these are going to work pretty well. Might as well remove this all here. We'll make this look better from the outside, of course. So this is our basic layer for the gradient, the tough block. That's going to be the darkest block. And then we're going to have a cobblestone layer. I think this will work pretty well. And then we're going to have a stone layer mixed in with a little bit of gravel. This should look pretty good. There we go. So something like that's going to look pretty nice. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing on this side here. And there we go. So it kind of has a pretty good gradient effect here. And we can mess with it a little bit more. Get it looking exactly the way we want here. Okay, so then we're going to put fences along the side here. Right next to the beams. And then we'll put some fence gates right there. And we'll do the same on this side, of course. This is pretty much going to be symmetrical, except for, I guess, the gradients. That, that's kind of random. And then we'll finish the job off with some dark oak buttons right along here. Right at the center of the, of the wood, like the wood face, the log face. And then there we go. The sides are done, basically. Now we just got to make this beam over here look better. So I guess we'll put some stairs here. We just, we just want this beam to look a little more curved, a, a little more, just get the shape a little more right, you know? I don't know why I didn't put any logs here. There we go. Perfect. Now, the last thing to do is uh, make this, like, just look like the top of a cave, you know? And just like that, we have finished this first section here. The only problem is there is no middle, so I really wanted to put a lantern right at the middle here, but it's a uh, four. There's no middle in four. So I think instead we might put like two lanterns up top here. It'll be more expensive, but I think it'll look really nice. For now, we can just mark it out with two torches, but the lanterns are going to look so much better. Trust me. So I guess from here, we just continue something like this on. And so every four, it's gonna, we're going to put the log beam overhanging us. So one, two, three, four, and then right here. Boom, 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 boom. And then we strip it all and continue on. Okay, and that's two of these beams. I haven't even put the overhang and I need all of this and the beams at the bottom. And I only have eight dark oak logs left, sorry, 16. So I'm about to have to go gather a lot more wood to make this happen. All right, so progress has been happening here. Check it out. We've actually done a lot more. We've got the frame for like everything all the way down to Y level six here. Even though it's just the dark oak logs for now, no other details are in like most of these sections here because I don't have like the resources for that. This was stacks upon stacks of logs, probably like five or six, probably six or seven actually stacks of dark oak logs. I'm like, I'm out of deep slate. So yeah, I'm going to have to go and get some more of that. I am running out of tough blocks. I need to find more of that as well. That's not going to be too easy. But yeah, this section here is done. And this section here is now done and then this section is almost fully done just put some buttons here and some more fences then you've got the walls here completely done and then all we got to do is is mix up the shape is mix up the shape and get the right blocks for the roof These here will be filled up over time. Look, I've, I've got the gradients for this wall done. But yeah, I guess there's not too much more we can do for now. I think that's enough progress on the mine shaft for today. But we've done some pretty good work so far. We've definitely gotten a really nice start to this. And over time, we should get this project complete. It's going to take a lot longer than I thought, though. I, I made this uh, kind of a bigger scale than I, than I thought I would. But hey, that's cool. We're getting to bigger projects, guys. I guess this is the most amount of progress we're going to get to for now. But I think it is pretty good what we've been able to do so far. Oh, no, I lied. I totally forgot about the entrance. Three days later. This instead. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, I like that better. And I think that'll be it for now. I think that's mostly the front of the design. From this angle here, it's mostly complete, which is great. I like this. Actually looks like a real 
like a real mine. Like you're walking down this path and then you see this, you turn around, there's some barrels here with some fences, some lanterns hanging off, plenty of detail along the roof that makes it, that makes it look like a cave up there, gradients along the walls, fences holding the logs up for some reason, fence gates, some lanterns. I, th I think it all works and it's gonna be great once this is actually done. That'll take a while, but great progress today. But what I do wanna do is, is actually test this mine shaft out. Go ahead and go mining for a little bit. Just see how fast can we find a vein of diamonds. Maybe two, I don't know. Depends how quick. I'm running out of time for this episode, so I gotta hurry up. Okay, we'll go right here. Level 11, perfect. We can go in a straight line for a bit, and we shouldn't even have to worry about going back down to level uh, level 6. We'll be all right. Yeah, because I need more ores, especially iron. We are running so low on it, and iron farm is definitely coming soon within the next few episodes. There's a few things I want to do first, though. So I guess let's do a speed mine and see what we can find in like 20 minutes. I don't know. Well, 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 we found a cave. We have found plenty of ore so far. It's been like 25 minutes or something. Yeah, quite a while without finding any veins of diamonds, except it did find some. I'll show you in a second. I think we're gonna end it off here, guys. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I gotta hurry up. I've been I've been a little extra busy uh, around this time, but things should be back to normal and, and all good to go. It should be great, man. You compare us to how we were like 10 episodes ago and you'll see so much great progress is being done. And I think that's a great thing. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already, please. I'd appreciate that a lot. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, I think I'm done with this cave. I'll head back. I'll, I'll organize, put this stuff away, get ready for next episode. Hey, we've done some good building, good work today. I appreciate all your support, all your comments. Thank you all for watching diamonds so the next episode will be out in a few days hopefully i'll see you then but yeah that's it that's all thank you all for watching look at all these diamonds all right i'm out 15 15 from 6 you know what we'll take it nice see you guys next time goodbye